in safe rooms there's you know there's what we can call the human factors and it's just that you know how much space do we need you know beyond what is the structure of the building okay how much space do we need for the occupants you know how do we deal with water how do we deal with toilet facilities um, how do we deal with air you know that we haven't sealed this thing up so there's a lot of human factors that we have to be concerned about with tornado shelters we're typically looking at a duration of about two hours now can it be longer than that absolutely can it be shorter than that absolutely but that's what we're kind of figuring as a norm that you could expect a shelter occupant to be in there so then we turn around and say okay how can we cover toilet facilities for that amount of time um, how do we cover water you know potable water drinking water um, how do we cover the air as you can understand that for some people you know this is going to be a panic situation they're not going to just sit in and relax and all this they may some people may some people may walk in there and you know have pretty high anxiety even if there's not anything going on but it's that unknown and that can raise people's level of anxiety um, so you, you want to keep them comfortable so that they don't panic and they don't go racing out the door you know opening up the door to get out that then may compromise everybody else in that shelter because they're doing it exactly when the wind events going on it tears the door off the hinges and now you've compromised everybody else so you know those human factors we have to deal with and we've got to think about as designers uh, first aid kits radio communication and I, I didn't say cell phone radio one of the things that we find with cell phones is if there's an event if you're dependent on a cell phone first of all you go in a shelter, you're not going to have reception in there. Secondly, the, if the tower survived, which a lot of times they don't, uh, if the tower survived, guess what? Everybody's on their cell phone trying to call out. So now that all gets jammed up. So it's about those communications outside. Um, first aid is a big, you know, big piece. You know, I got to have first aid in there. You know, what if somebody gets a bad cut somehow uh, we said near absolute protection we didn't say absolute so what if how do we deal with that how do we deal with storing all those materials how do we deal with making sure that all those things are in place and haven't disappeared you know how do we deal with okay we can put a lockable cabinet in there who's got the key so there's a lot of those human factors beyond how do we create this strong envelope, how do we create this strong box, now how do we deal with that stuff inside. So, and we call those human factors.